Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. We are here to write that molecular orbital diagram of nitrogen molecule. Nitrogen atomic number is 7. So we can write electronic configuration for nitrogen atom 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. When nitrogen, two nitrogen atoms combine, we get nitrogen molecule. So that number of electrons present in the nitrogen molecule must be 14. So now we can write that molecular orbital configuration. Sigma 1s2, then sigma star 1s2, for 2s, sigma 2s2 and sigma star 2s2. Two. For P subshell, we have that three orbitals. So in that molecular orbitals, it should be six molecular orbitals. So this is that uh, relative energies of that P orbital. For carbon, boron and nitrogen molecule, there is the possibility of SP mixing due to less difference in their energy. So that is why sigma 2P is that uh, obtain that higher energy and this order is reversed. So after sigma star 2 s2 we go to write now pi 2p x. So pi 2p x2 is equal to because pi 2p x and pi 2p y both have the same energy pi 2p y2 then sigma 2p is it 2. Using that now let us draw that orbital diagram of nitrogen molecule and then uh, we are not going to show that 1s orbital let us draw from that 2s so 2s and for the 2p let us show that. So for that 2s orbital in 2s orbital for each nitrogen we have 2 electrons atomic orbitals combine there is the possibility of bonding molecular orbitals and high energy anti-bonding molecular orbital so first to, to draw that bonding molecular orbitals a high energy anti-bonding molecular orbitals this is atomic orbital and this is atomic orbital and this one is a molecular orbital first electron enter into low energy orbital so this is bonding molecular orbital then after that it goes to high energy anti-bonding molecular orbital. So this is sigma bonding molecular orbital and this is sigma star anti-bonding molecular orbital. The same way for that 2p orbitals, nitrogen has 3 electrons. When these two 2p orbitals combine, there is the possibility of bonding and anti-bonding molecular orbitals. So we go to draw. So, due to sp mixing, now which one comes first? Pi 2p x and pi 2p y. You can show this way. Then after that we go to draw that sigma 2p z. So, this is sigma 2p z. Then after that pi star 2p x and pi star 2p y. Sigma star 2p z here first that electron enter into low energy bonding molecular orbitals so then after that how many electrons we have here 3 6 already 4 electrons over so remaining 2 electrons are there those 2 electrons enter into sigma 2p z orbitals so this is the molecular orbital diagram of nitrogen molecule. So from that we can find out that bond order and that bonding in nitrogen molecule. So bond order, the formula is Np minus Na by 2. B, number of bonding electrons and Na, number of antibonding electrons. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So total 10 bonding electrons are present. 4 electrons are present in antibonding molecular orbitals of nitrogen molecule by 2. So 10 minus 4 by 2. So 6 by 2. So that gives 3. Nitrogen molecule, there is the possibility of 3 triple bonds are in 
there is a possibility of triple bonds in nitrogen molecule so that is why nitrogen exists this way there is a triple bond in nitrogen molecule now let's come to see that uh, magnetic property biomagnetic so here you see here we have that all paired electrons only so that's why it is diamagnetic so in nitrogen molecule bond order is 3 and that uh, there is the triple bond in nitrogen molecule it is very stable and the magnetic property is diamagnetic thanks for watching